Hi gang, this is Steve Yates, and today I want to talk to you about Pixel Drama. Pixel Drama takes your shadows and your highlights and isolates them and then amplifies them with your control and then places them back into the picture, re rendering your photo and coming up with kind of a rendered or painted kind of an image. And uh, just to give you an example, this car right here um, was Pixel Drama from this car right here. And I'll show you how I did that in just a second. But just to give you some other ideas of uh, uh, how this works, these are all cars. I'm partial to cars because of the way that uh, Pixel Drama works on the metal and the reflective aspects of the metal. And uh, so it really just uh, shows off the, the effect really well. Um, there's that fair lane. I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Scripts and it goes off the edge of the screen here but uh, Steve's pixel drama and I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, I'll show you a preset just to give you an idea of where um, this came from as you can see this car here is pretty tame it's a good looking photo but it's uh, it's not uh, drama it out like um, Steve's pixel drama and so I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a drama real quick metal reflector and you can see that you can get some very, very extreme effects out of this on the shadows and the highlights. Whoops, I'm going to show you what I'm doing here so you can see it. The width on the shadows and the highlights, they were up here. I'm taking them down a little bit so um, that the car, you can see the car a little bit better. And I'll go ahead and hit uh, Drama and Ties again. And you can see that it's toned down a little bit. And the more I add to this, like, uh, you know, saturation you can see is, is pumped up. I'm going to whoops again so you can see it go ahead and uh, bring this down a little bit hit it again so you can see and you can see that the things starting to mellow out more and more and of course you know the more you start uh, you know adding controls to it I'll add a little bit of brightness to it and a little bit of contrast and you'll see that it'll start pumping up the color a little bit there is some uh, presets that I set up uh, Dramaculant and uh, Let's see if I can find another one that's a high drama. Um, these have a little bit more of a, a bigger effect on lower resolutions, and I'll show you that next. But uh, just so you can see um, how this works, uh, Drama Caliente um, gives you kind of a comic book effect in a way, like a uh, uh, you know, like a Sin City or that kind of a comic book type of a look to it. I'm going to go ahead and get out of this real quick. Bring up another car. So you can see it. Here's another fair lane. I'm partial to fair lanes in this uh, project. Go ahead and bring up Steve's pixel drama again, and here it is. And uh, this is a lower resolution image. And the reason, by the way, the reason why I'm taking this off the screen is uh, purely for um, so we can see. It's not. I'm not doing anything behind the scenes here. At any rate, here is the car. This car's got um, some other things going on in the picture. It's clouds and uh, some different kind of body lines and stuff like that and it's a lower resolution image this is a 1024 by uh, 768 image and I wanted to show you what it did for that I'm going to go ahead and hit the Dramaculant and you can see that it gives kind of a nice um, HDR you know um, picture kind of an effect to it and that and you can bring that all the way up here's that metal reflector again that, that was made more for um, the higher resolution images but you can get a really cool, dramatic kind of an effect um, with it. Um, trauma, another one. It's got a lot of effect in it. Um, and these are all presets. I can show you real quick, bringing the thing over on this side, so you can see the actual controls themselves. We've got width and depth on both um, the highlights and the shadows. And what these are, um, highlights and the shadows are literally what the program pulls out of the the photo itself so it pulls the highlights out pulls the shadows out and then you control from there what the width is going to be from each one so let's say that uh, with the shadow itself you can kind of see the shadow better um, in here there's a good shadow if I open the width up more on that and re-hit it again you'll see that that's going to start to um, darken up a little bit and everything else let's say I back the depth up, depth up a little bit you'll see a little bit more of what the the width does because you, yours it's all the way up right here I'm going to back it up so you can see it shrink a little bit you can uh, see there's more color in here now we've got a little bit more of a ramp 
and uh, the same is true with the highlights. I'm going to go ahead and pump this up and back it up a little bit. And you can see that it's kind of it, it takes the glare out of the image um, as we're taking the depth out like that. And so there's the uh, the depth. I'm going to pump that back a little bit just to give you an idea. You can see it's starting to look a little more normal, but it's still got that real rich HDR or uh, yeah, HDR kind of an effect. So that's basically what it does. There's uh, saturation. That's exactly what that does. If I take the saturation out, I'm going to have a nice black and white image of uh, of this effect. And I'll go ahead and pump these up so you can see what that looks like with no no color. It's kind of a neat effect. No, oh, and that can be used for mapping too. Um, I've heard people doing that. Uh, exposure is just that exposure, and just uh, brightens it out like a. Uh, very long exposure and you know, of course you do the opposite and it's going to do exactly the opposite, a very short um, exposure and uh, brightness and contrast, just that uh, real high contrast let me go ahead and pump these up to so you give an idea so you can see that it kind of gives you a, a very high contrast -y kind of an image um, noise reduction, if you uh, use this the right way, I mean it's mostly used for noise reduction, but what this literally is is smart blur and uh, I just put it in the form itself very helpful little gizmo um, in this particular case I'm going to use it to flatten out the image a little bit and you can see that it kind of gives a nice uh, smart blur flatten uh, very very helpful tool and uh, it's got sharpen and sharpen is literally a uh, it's not the regular sharpen that came with um, Photoshop. It's a uh, sharpen that I developed, um, and I'm using that. It uh, does a really, really good job of sharpening, and you can widen out your uh, your how sharp it is um, by using the radius tool, and get some kind of neat effects doing that as well. So, of course, uh, they take a little bit longer when you're starting to use filters, and uh, there's some filter in there, so. That is Pixel Drama. I hope uh, that uh, you get some good use out of this. And uh, this here is Pixel Drama. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.